Hello, you lovely sods. Apex Season 5 has been out for a week now. We've collected our treasure packs, and the first quest is finally active. But before we jump into that, some of you might be thinking, Whoa, 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 Bong, hold on. I've not played Season 5 yet. None of what you've just said makes any sense. So let's do a quick recap. So, Apex Season 5. Loba, the little girl we first met in the announcement video for Revenant, when Revenant kills her parents, is our new legend, and she's all grown up. She certainly blossomed into a cunning jewel thief, and whilst trying to get her revenge, seemingly finds Revenant's real body. And I say body, it's more of a head in a jar. She triggers a trap, causes some explosions, which reveals King's Canyon to be her location, and the destruction that ensues alters the map. Let's jump into the map changes first. Aside from Loba plunging Skulltown and the Thunderdome into the sea, other areas have changed as well. Excavation works are going up, huge pipelines being laid, and some of that breaks up the old map geometry quite a bit. There is something particular that caught my eye, which is a brand new gameplay feature. These are called charge towers. These towers can only be triggered once per game, and anyone inside the AoE of the tower when it goes off will get their ultimates instantly recharged. Perfect for an early game Loba ult to snatch the good armors, or perhaps a free lifeline package whenever you come across a tower. Either way, I think it's interesting to see how this could potentially change the flow of a losing battle or give somebody an early game edge. There are some tasty gun changes this season too. The click clack is back, with the skull piercer having reappeared as a hop up for the wingman and longbow. Perhaps bringing these two guns back into the limelight, we shall have to see. The biggest shocker is the peacekeeper, which has now been turned into a care package drop and the mastiff is now a standard shotgun found in the world. It's pretty tasty, and considering how much I whiff my shots, I prefer it a lot more than the Peacekeeper. Is it too good? I'll leave that question there for you guys to argue about. Finally, one of the season chains that I think is definitely worth mentioning is being able to reconnect. Yes, that's right, if you disconnect or crash, you can jump back into a game. This is a huge bonus for people who enjoy playing ranked, as losing RP due to a game crash or disconnect can be a deep wound at the best of times. There are still more bits and bobs to season five I've not yet touched on like the death of my beloved boy. But I'd be here all night, so let's get into what I wanted to talk to you about at the beginning of the video. With Season 5 comes deep, thick, veiny lore. Continuing the Loba Revenant storyline, Loba has assembled the legends to help her find pieces of the broken ghost, whatever the hell that is. I think it's nice that Respawn are fleshing out Apex's narrative. It exists in the Titanfall universe, so could we see maybe IMC soldiers or Titan pilots come across into the game in the future? I certainly hope so. It's unique for a BR to build story, and I like it. But if that isn't for you, essentially there are nine quests. These are playable missions against AI enemies, the first one is already active, and there will be eight more in the following weeks. To gain access to each quest, you need five treasure packs per quest. You could obtain one treasure pack every single day, meaning seven packs per week, two more than you need per quest. Treasure packs randomly spawn when you open a loot pill in any of the game modes, even in ranked. Loba can also cheekily steal a treasure pack if one is lay on the floor within range of her ultimate. With ten or more weeks left on the challenges for this season, I think that leaves plenty of time to collect enough treasure packs to do the quests. If you're really short of time and you miss a day, you can also buy the treasure pack you missed with Apex coins. But as I said, there's plenty of opportunity here to get the packs you need. As long as you start collecting them now, you've got nothing to worry about. Your reward for completing each quest is a weapon charm for a gun, and of course unlocking the next part of the story. So me, Jack and Tommy gave this first one a go, and it went a little something like this. Follow Loba's instructions. Oh my god. Oh, well, oh she's going to talk us through. Yeah, you're Loba, Bon. Come on. This is the spot! What? <laughs> Gone. Oh god, guys. Complete. Oh, we've got eight minutes. It's a sleeping dog. It's, it's already dead. dead. It's dead. There's one that's not so dead there. Ah! Fine, isn't it? Oh my god, there's loads. Ow! Oh, you've been. Guys, help me! <laughs> oh, it's you! What the hell? They are big lads, aren't they? Oh, they're. they're... Oh, what? Uh, behind us! Oh, there's no Bounce Bounce Come on, come on, come on. Bounce it. Mm. No, he jumped it! <laughs> no, he's not. Nice. Oh, oh, good good work. Work. Any welts, oh. I imagine. Many, many, many 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 the noise is like this attract the woke wildlife or worse! The woke wildlife, like really. Yeah. It really woke. <laughs> yeah. Dropship leaves in one minute twenty. It's on the roof of this building. They're coming! Oh, 
Oh god! To be honest, this first quest was pretty easy. Perhaps going solo would prove slightly more of a challenge, but I kind of think that that's not the point. This is a new style of content for the game, and Respawn are going to want to make it as accessible as possible. At the end of the mission, we unlock a little more narrative, which, as before, we gave a little dramatic reading. Here it comes. 189 reasons why all the different versions of myself bought them a bomb and bomb. Don't do it now. We're stopping that squad. Hey, I don't care what's right, so you won't watch the prank. You buy 100. Back to a man, Randy Savage, Bangalore. <laughs> You're not going to date this girl. Doesn't deserve attitude like that. Well, I know better than to answer that question, Gafor. If you enjoyed that and you want to see a little bit more, check out the VOD on our Twitch channel. What I do hope is that as the weeks progress, perhaps the quests will build in complexity. Maybe AI variants, stronger versions of them. Could we even see some kind of puzzle? We are treasure hunting after all. Or maybe a guardian boss monster that must be brought down with copious amounts of gunfire. Only time will tell for now, but it's nice to see Apex still innovating and evolving as a game. Apex is a BR game at its core, but with such a deep tapestry of world building the Titanfall universe has to offer, I'm glad that we're starting to see some of that seep through into Apex. So that, guys, is all I really wanted to talk about. If you haven't played in a while, I think it's maybe a great time to jump back in. And for the more casual players, there's something new to do as well. I do hope you've enjoyed listening to me prattle on. If you did, give the like button a smash. If you didn't, um, I don't know, turn off the computer and go and do something else. Otherwise, I'll see you in our Twitch chat, uh, as per the schedule, always on time. And, uh, yeah, so toodaloo. See you in the next one. Bye. Champions.